we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Capricorn. All right. It's Elle here to do a a quick reading for you. So this is going to be about the X. Okay, and a little bit about you, why the ex keeps coming back or why they're hanging on. Um, And then we're going to talk about why you keep hanging on, why you keep uh, maybe even allowing the ex to come back or why you keep going back. Um, Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So, Cap, what I was hearing when I was putting the cards down, I was saying uh, that's not must be the money must be the money i don't know who sings that song but anyway um i don't know you could be dealing with a situation where um someone sees you as a good catch they, they keep showing back up or this is what you're doing i don't know let's see why your person won't leave you alone or why they uh keep hanging on to the relationship liar liar that's what i'm talking about Uh, Whatever they're saying to you, it's the adverse. I love you. No, I love your money or I love what you offer or I like you. Somebody is lying. Your ex is lying about why they're coming back, their true intentions. This is somebody with ulterior motive. This is someone who's hanging around to get, to take from, to usurp. They want to take whatever it is you have by force um, or secretively, okay? Your position or your power whatever that may be. Okay. So this is somebody who's a liar, liar. Their pants has been on fire. Uh, they ain't even got no more pants the way they've been lying. Um, let's see. This is why you keep hanging in there. This came out in reverse. I'm healing from my upbringing, but it's in reverse. You're not healing. So there's some, an issue Capricorn where you're not healing from your upbringing and it keeps you coming back to a situation that is not good for you. You know, that um, you, maybe you didn't know that somebody's a liar. They, they are with you under false pretense. So they want you for what you offer and not for you. Um, what they say is, is definitely not uh, how they really feel. This is somebody wearing a mask. This is someone trying to get what they can get from you. This is somebody even trying to le- keep you confused or keep you in a cloud of confusion or a shroud of conf- confusion, maybe with sex trying to confuse you with sexual uh, favors, activity. Um, You may even be confusing sex with love. Uh, It could be the both of you. Somebody's not healing from their upbringing. There could be trauma that was had in your upbringing. Um, There could have been a traumatic incident, event. You have not healed from it. You have buried it, pushed it down. Um, You didn't get the love or the affection that you thought you should get. Some of you got picked on growing up or you felt like you weren't enough. Um, You just had low self-esteem. Something about not healing from your upbringing. However, you, the early childhood, what you learned in early childhood about self and about how other people uh, react to you or how they act with you. You haven't healed from it. You're not healing from it. Therefore, you keep allowing for negative uh, people 
relationships to exist in your life. The energy between the two of you is sexy wife. Yeah. Somebody sexy. Somebody feels like if I just be sexy, I'll get what I want. Um, it, it's giving me kind of like gold digger vibes or someone knows that they're with a gold digger or someone just wants someone who is sexy. They don't want somebody who is thinking or thinks outside of the box or has a brain of their own because then that would, you know, cause them to have to heal, um, uplift or upbring or go up or ascend. Somebody wants somebody who's just, you know, um, a sexy person, a, a sexy, a talking head. I don't know that came up. Um, somebody just wants uh, somebody saying, okay, your sex appeal is enough or somebody's using their sex appeal and they want it to be enough. Uh, even though they're a liar, liar, this is a relationship that's kind of like built in uh, materialism, superficiality. It's just got devil energy written all over it. And at the bottom of the deck, you've got somebody, I want to marry you. Yeah, I bet they do. Let's talk about what's going on here. Why does this person want to marry uh, maybe a uh, Capricorn or Capricorn wants to marry this person. Why is Capricorn's person sticking around, hanging around or coming back? And why are they coming back as liar, liar? What do you have to tell Capricorn? Um, uh, the Knight of cups. Yeah. So they're not ready to settle down. Okay. Um, they're not ready to settle. They may feel as if they're too young, but they want to keep you falling in love with them, staying in love with them. This is somebody who has unrealistic expectations and love. Okay. This is somebody who wants grandeur. They want this. They want that. Unrealistic expectations. And when their their expectations aren't met, they're done. They're, they're, uh, they don't know how to maintain a relationship anyhow. All they know how to do is start. Start a connection. They don't know how to ma maintain it, though. Um, yeah. So you get somebody here who's coming back, maybe trying to woo you, tell you this, tell you that. I love you. Um, get you to fall in love. They're being real ladylike or real gentleman like with you. Um, but they're trying to get something from you. Coming up creative measures also of how to take. Um, well, let's see. I am not healing from my upbringing, basically, because we got I'm healing from my upbringing in the reverse for a Capricorn. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's heart chakra is you need healing in regards to the heart chakra. You don't know how to be intimate with someone not sexual we we know you know how to do that but um you don't know how to be intimate vulnerable soft you don't know you don't trust closeness um you, you've been taken advantage of maybe early on in life this could be sexual taken advantage of abuse it could be physical abuse it could be anything um this is somebody who keeps their distance they want to keep relationships outside of their home or their heart space or they don't want to talk about home or they don't want to talk about their upbringing. It wasn't good. Um, they want to talk about when they were younger or high school. It was hell. It was this. It was that. Um, I still have low self-esteem, even though I'm masking it in all of these things that I have because I am abundant. The nine of pentacles here. Um, I am overweight or I'm still I still struggle with my weight or I tr struggle with how I look or my skin tone or. I don't know. It's just like somebody here is not wanting to heal from that because they don't want to examine that. They don't want to go backwards before they can go forwards. It's just like somebody is just living in superficiality. It could be you, Capricorn. All right, let's see. Sexy wife. Why does sexy wife um, exist between Capricorn and their person? The queen of swords. So it could be dealing with a, a female Aries. I'm sorry. Okay. Aries could be significant. A female uh, Gemini. Virgo. Sometimes Scorpio. Okay. Um, the Queen of Swords. Somebody knows they're sexy and, and they know how to use it. This is somebody who uses their sex appeal, you know, over their, um, their mental. This isn't a dumb person individual but they would rather use their body they would really rather dumb themselves down to get what it is they want they feel like maybe being um independent calculated the executive over their life uh doing it alone doing the hard work why not just cling on to or latch on to someone who's already established or already has it or is willing to give it or is swayed easily by a sexy body or a sexy face this is somebody here yeah this is somebody here um they have intelligence 
okay? But you see, it's got the peacock feathers. Someone would rather, you know, entice, seduce, than use their mind. Somebody doesn't want to work also. Okay, this gives me gold digger vibes. Um, somebody does want to marry you. Why do they want to marry Capricorn? All right, that came out uh, the King of Swords because they, this is Capricorn male. They see you as the King of Swords. They see you as somebody established, ambitious, uh, an expert in your field. You care about the outcome of situations. Um, you have a lot of knowledge. Uh, you're, you're smart. The King and the Queen of Swords. This might be a relationship where you guys have taken a break, especially with it being the ex. You guys have taken a break, but this person comes back uh, under false pretense. Uh, maybe it's a false start with the Knight of Cups here. Somebody feels like, okay, you're back, so we're going to get married. We're going to make this happen. And it doesn't happen. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords coming out. There's a lot of distance, either physical distance, mental or emotional distance between the two of you. This is a relationship that's very cerebral, very like calculated, uh, very distrusting of one another, uh, mental games, uh, mind games, the mental agility here. Uh, why is the king and queen of swords here? Why is the king and queen of swords here? Let's see. The five of swords, I told you, mental games. This is wanting to win. So, you know, this is games, manipulation, wanting to win, win at all costs. I'll say anything. I'll do anything to win, to win you over, to be the victor, to be the last one standing. Uh, this is bad blood between the two of you. Also, you know, there could have been tough words spoken between the two of you. This is a need for somebody to sharpen their words. Also, if somebody has not been standing up for themselves, this is somebody here, um, Oh, they, they cut deep they go below the belt also when when you know when the arguments do start there's a lot so your person comes back under the pretense that you know you're going to stay together you aren't healed so you just accept it the devil i knew it was coming out okay so yeah this is what's holding you two together the both of you needing to heal this is your card, Capricorn. You know, it's souls that have come together and you both need to be cleansed of. You got your own shit. They got their own shit. The souls are coming together so that you guys can cleanse this karma. Choose right. This is also both of you keep shifting the blame on one another. No, it's him. No, it's her. No, it's him. No, it's him. No, it's her. No, it's her. You know, um. You both want love, but it seems like when you come together, you both are enemy because you just won't, you know, clear out those deep seated issues from the past, both parties. And this, this is what makes the relationship toxic. It's not one person. It's two. Makes one worse off than before. Mm. Tricks mortals into being bound accepts child sacrifice something happened in your childhood you aren't dealing with and you need to deal with it because it's playing out in the now this is what i have for you capricorn if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you go over to the website and book your own reading so we can drill down on your energy um and see as to why you and the ex just can't let go. Um, readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off, 40 off at checkout. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Um, if you took something from this reading, you could definitely give back. You could buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. The link is below. And if you're a business minded individual, you want to embark on that journey and get around uh, other business uh, minded people like yourself, you can join the KTMG waitlist now. Um, it's, a, it's a monthly conference call where we go over practical and spiritual methods in regards to how to start uh, your business, maintain or grow your business. So get around other individuals who are doing so. Uh, who want to just gain knowledge of, okay? And if you feel like 
you would uh, benefit from coaching sessions with me, get on that uh, complimentary discovery call where we can talk about if I can help you um, get to the journey you want to get to, the results that you need or that you're desiring in your business. All right. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.